imagine that when you are on stage in church or wherever and you are going to play a song that your light guide would reflect in what key the song is and all the splits that are available. And when you change to the next song, the light guide also changes to show the splits for the specific song. That's now possible with Key Split Color, a free tool that I've made in Reactor. A small disclaimer, although I got a free copy of this tool, no money changed from my left hand to my right hand, and no one had any say over the content of this video, except maybe for my wife. So let's look to the possibilities of split color. You have five colored zones and four split points. You can select any color you like for each zone. It is possible to create only two zones. For instance, this snapshot only uses one split point. And by moving this knob I can change the split location. It is also possible to give certain notes a specific accent color. Let's say that we are playing in the key of C sharp. Then I can mark the C sharp with red. It is also possible to show in which key you are playing by switching off the lights of the notes that are not part of the key. So when I select C sharp only the notes that are part of the key sharp are lit and the other ones are not lit. You can use it within any plugin host you like. Keep in mind that you have to create a multi where you load both the instruments that you want to hear, for instance a piano and a bass, and the plugin for showing the light guide. Unfortunately, it's not possible to create a multi within Complete Control itself. So I've loaded the competitor, Nectarine. The multi in Nectarine perfectly reflects the split point, with green for the piano and blue for the bass. I use three racks, one for the piano with Falcon, one for the bass in Contact 7, and the third one with Complete Control and within complete control the plugin loaded. I can now save this to my plugin host for future use. Key Split Colors is a React Ensemble and to get it available within Reactor you have to copy it to the Re Reactor folder for the ensembles. So normally it's in your Documents folder, Native Instruments, Reactor 6, Ensembles, and there you copy your key split colors. Now we can open it up in Reactor. But instead of opening it directly in Reactor, we have to open it in Complete Control. So open Complete Control and then open Reactor. Now we have to load the key split colors ensemble. To be able to do that, you need to change the view to the Edit view. And then go to your user library over here. And now we can see the just copied file key split colors. Now we can change the view back to the original view. All these controls can be manipulated from MIDI in, and you can control it from Complete Control itself if you add a proper automation to it. Once we have set up the host control, we can save it to complete control. So here I have opened main stage with a complex patch with uh, certain splits. And these splits are reflected in the keyboard as well as the key for the song. And as you can hear, the, the lower part is different from the center part different from the upper part. And now comes the magic. When I change to the next patch with another song, with different uh, splits, these are also shown in the light guide. And again, when I move to the next song, the splits change. And the first thing you need to do is, of course, make an instance of complete control with the split colors. 
And normally you would do something like that in the patch. So at patch level you would add a new strip. Now I have two different splits. One for the second patch and one for the first patch. And of course what I want to do, that when I change the patch, that automatically the color changes, but this doesn't happen. Why? That's because if we look to the instances of complete control, there are two. And the last instance selected is active and the other instance will not automatically be active. So we need to change the instance to get the proper color. This is not working because we want it to change the splits automatically when we change the patch and not uh, have to change the instance as well. In order to achieve this we have to take a different approach and we'll show you how you can do this. Instead of creating an instance of complete control at each patch level, we are going to create an instance of complete control at concert level. We need to add a channel strip. It warns us that we should not do something like that, but we do it anyway. We add the complete control and load key split color. And now we have split color at concert level. Let's move it in front. Now we have to make a workaround to receive the settings from the patch when it is loaded. And it should be possible to save the settings with the patch. To accomplish this we need to have a MIDI bus from patch level to concert level. And that's where the IAC driver comes in. The IAC driver is an internal MIDI bus, so we can send MIDI to it and receive MIDI from it. The IAC driver is not part of Mainstage, but from Apple itself. So we are going to use the Audio MIDI configuration app. Here we see the IAC driver and currently it's not active. If we double click it, we can put a device online and now we have a IAC driver. You can make multiple drivers but I will just use bus 1. Now that we have a IAC driver we need to receive the MIDI from the IAC driver and to do so we need to change the concert. So we go to the layout and we add a new keyboard and I will explain later why I use a keyboard and let's make it very small so we now have keyboard 2, but it should not respond to all MIDI ports. It should only uh, respond to the IAC driver. And here's the IAC driver. So this keyboard is only responding to the internal MIDI bus. So now we receive MIDI and have to make sure that the MIDI is uh, received by the channel strip that we have added at concert level. So we go to set split again. And we go to MIDI input and instead of keyboard 1 we select keyboard 2. Complete controls now receiving MIDI from the IAC driver. The split color tool will respond to MIDI CC. Instead of using MIDI CCs we are going to send and receive MIDI notes and then translate them back to MIDI CC. The reason why we do not use MIDI CC to send over the IAC bus but notes is a common setting on your concert and that is send unassigned MIDI to all channel strips is off. Of course we can send CC over the IAC driver but then we need a control for each MIDI CC and send it to the channel strip. Instead we are going to use MIDI nodes and um, I've created special scripts to send them and receive them and change them back to MIDI CC and you will find them along with the React Ensemble in the download. The next thing we need to do is to load the script to change MIDI nodes into MIDI CC data. We select the scripter plugin and we are going to load the receive split color. Now everything is set and done at concert level to receive over the IAC bus information to set the proper splits. The next thing we need to do is to make sure that we send the proper settings from the patch itself. Select the patch and to add a channel strip as well. In this case it's not a software instrument but external MIDI. 
let's rename the strip to send split. And now it's important that we select the proper MIDI output at the top of this strip. And we need to select the IAC bus over here as well. And now we are able to send to the IAC bus and it will be received at concert level. The only thing that's left to do is to load the script to send the information. In this case, we send split color. And now we are able to change the colors of the keyboard. Set the proper colors. The lower part is green. Up to this note. So we have to lower the split point over here. It's not in the key of C, it's in the key of A. So let's mark the key of A with the red uh, colors. And I can also show the key. And this means that only the notes that are applicable for the key of A are lightened and the other arts are dark. So setting the colors for each patch individually makes it possible to switch the colors with each patch change. You can save the patch along with the settings so if you reload it another time in the same concert it will still work with the set splits. We have only one instance of reactor at concert level and the patches send the proper information. This is done at change of the patch. Main stage currently always sends CC11 when a patch is changed and by picking that up I can send the new split colors. Well, that's all for now. I hope you enjoy and let me hear what you think.